In a world bustling with noise and fleeting connections, certain individuals stand apart, marked by the depth of their essence and the intensity of their aura. Often misunderstood, these unique beings navigate through life with a sense of purpose that transcends the ordinary. They are the chosen ones, and their path, though rich in authenticity and spiritual depth, is also one of solitude. Herein lies an exploration of the reasons behind their predilection for solitude, offering insights into a journey both profound and solitary. Interaction with a chosen one unveils an emotional landscape that many prefer to keep hidden. Their essence, brimming with authenticity, acts as a mirror, reflecting the most genuine facets of those they encounter. Such reflections are not always welcome, as the stark truth of one's own soul can be daunting. Many retreat from this unfiltered reality, choosing the safety of superficial connections over the profound depth offered by the Chosen One. This dance of attraction and retreat underscores a fundamental human tension, the longing for genuine connection juxtaposed against the fear of vulnerability. Vulnerability, when exposed by the presence of these rare beings, prompts a spectrum of reactions. Some see it as an invitation to explore previously uncharted emotional depths, while others perceive it as a threat to their carefully constructed self-image. Despite the initial pull towards the Chosen One's intense aura, the confrontation with one's own unvarnished truth can lead to discomfort, often resulting in a withdrawal into less challenging interactions. Hence, Chosen Ones find themselves in a paradoxical state of loneliness, surrounded by those who are drawn to their light, yet unwilling to embrace the full intensity of their gaze. With its emotional complexity, this dynamic reveals the importance of human connections and the often unacknowledged longing for depth. For those distinguished as chosen ones, mainstream social gatherings often feel like foreign lands where the language of depth and authenticity is scarcely spoken. Among the trivialities that dominate larger assemblies, their profound insights and vibrations do not find much echo in the larger gatherings. Instead of meaningful exchanges, they encounter a cacophony of superficial chatter, which obscures the essence they yearn to share and connect with. In such environments, their profound messages, rather than being celebrated, are diluted, dissipating like mist in the morning sun. Because of this mismatch, they tend to retreat into smaller circles or solitude, where they can express themselves fully. In choosing solitude, or the company of a few, Chosen ones are not rejecting society, but seeking a resonance for their profound vibrations that is rarely found in larger groups. These select environments allow their insights to be heard and appreciated, fostering a space where souls can connect on a level that transcends the mundane. Here, in the quietude away from the crowd, genuine interactions are not just possible but inevitable, offering the depth and authenticity craved by both the chosen ones and those few who resonate with their frequency. It is not an act of isolation. It is a deliberate decision to navigate social dissonance in order to ensure that their profound message reaches those ready to listen. Embarking on the journey to find genuine connections, chosen ones navigate through a world where such bonds are as rare as they are precious. Their essence, echoing with wisdom, and a profound depth of understanding seeks not just any connection, but one that can stand the test of intensity and truth. These souls, in their quest, encounter many who are initially drawn to the brilliance of their light, but ultimately shy away from the heat it generates. It's a search that goes beyond mere companionship, aiming for a resonance that is capable of withstanding the depths to which they naturally dive. Amidst this search, the rarity of finding another soul that mirrors their depth becomes apparent, highlighting the solitude that accompanies their journey. This pursuit is not a passive one. It is filled with the hope of discovering those rare individuals who can embrace and reciprocate the same level of authenticity and vulnerability. Chosen ones long for deep, meaningful connections, 
because they want to share and grow within their truths. However, the path is often solitary, marked by moments of connection that are fleeting yet profound. Even though these moments are rare, they serve as beacons of hope, pointing people toward the possibility of sharing their journey with others. As the chosen ones navigate a world that often falls short of their depth, they hold on to the belief that somewhere, there are souls willing to explore the depths alongside them. Engaged in a constant battle that transcends physical realms, chosen ones stand as guardians of truth in an arena where shadows often prevail. Their struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the veils of illusion that shroud collective consciousness. By merely being, they challenge the superficial, urging a shift towards authenticity and depth. Yet this battle is not without its scars. As agents of change, they confront not just the inertia of societal norms, but also the resistance of those who find comfort in the status quo. This spiritual warfare, although noble, positions them in a realm of solitude, as their presence becomes a mirror too honest for many to face. Every day, these warriors don armor not of metal, but of conviction, wielding not swords, but the light of their own integrity. Often the world misunderstands the depth of their crusade, viewing their authenticity as a threat rather than a beacon of hope. The isolation that ensues is a battlefield of its own, where the clash between truth and illusion manifests in their interactions with the world around them. Despite the solitude, their resolve remains unshaken, driven by the knowledge that their path, though lonely, is aligned with a higher purpose. In this silent warfare, victories are not marked by conquests, but by the awakening of even a single soul to a more profound truth, underscoring the transformative power of their mission amidst the challenges they face. Walking paths less trodden, chosen ones embody the essence of non-conformity, their very existence a testament to living authentically in a world that often prizes conformity above all. In stark contrast to societal norms that prioritize surface over substance, their values are steeped in depth and driven by a relentless quest for truth. Encounters with the mundane, for them, are like trying to decipher a foreign dialect, one that speaks of priorities and aspirations far removed from their own. Rather than molding their profound spirits to fit the cramped spaces of societal expectations, they choose the expansiveness of solitude or the company of like-minded souls. Authenticity and depth are fostered in these spaces by the absence of conformity, where the essence of the individual is free to breathe. Amid the cacophony of a world enamored with the external, chosen ones seek harmony in the whispers of the internal. In refusing to dilute their essence in order to broaden their acceptance, they are declaring their commitment to authenticity, not defiance. Although marked by solitude, this journey contains a wealth of friends who share a disdain for superficiality. Together they carve niches where conversations transcend the trivial, where silence speaks volumes, and where the soul's language is the currency of exchange. In creating and inhabiting these spaces, they not only challenge the norms, but also offer a beacon to those still navigating the shadows, demonstrating that true belonging is found not in conformity, but in the courage to embrace one's authentic self. Hearing a call that resonates deep within their being, chosen ones are propelled by a purpose that transcends the mundane. This intense summons to a higher mission is not merely a path they choose, it is an imperative that chooses them, demanding a life lived with unyielding fidelity to their deepest truths. In pursuit of this calling, the buzz and distractions of everyday social settings appear not just as mere nuisances, but as obstacles to the clarity and focus their missions require. Such individuals find in solitude not loneliness, but a sanctuary, a place where the voice of their calling is the loudest and where their energies are conserved for tasks of greater significance. By distancing themselves from the trivial, they ensure that their paths are authentic and purposeful. As they journey in alignment with their higher calling, chosen ones inadvertently become beacons for others, 
illuminating paths towards awakening and authenticity. Combined, their lives embody courage and truth, inspiring those around them to question, seek, and live more authentically. One soul at a time can be changed by this influence, which is often quietly and unassuming. Despite the solitude that characterizes their paths, the impact of their presence is far-reaching, sowing seeds of transformation within the fabric of society. Their example shows that self-discovery and living, according to one's true calling, are not only possible, but essential for the evolution of collective consciousness. In this way, chosen ones play a crucial role in the spiritual and existential unfolding of humanity, guiding others towards the light of their own authentic selves.